Hey folks, welcome back to another installment of Potato Harvester 15. As you can see, I'm still harvesting the potatoes. Okay, why aren't you? Are you telling me I'm not close enough? Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. My day's going alright. Uh, if you saw the last episode, you would know that I was buying chickens at the very end of it. I bought 200 chickens. But there are not 200 chickens in the pen. That's kind of disappointed. I'll show you after I get this. These potatoes unloaded. There we go. Got close enough that time. So anyway, yeah, bought 200 chickens. There's not 200 chickens in the in the chicken coop. I was, I was kind of excited to see see them all smashed in there, but there's probably only maybe at most 20 of them. A bit disappointing. We also got the six beehives last time. Between, between the 200 chickens and the 6 beehives, essentially the first two hours of the beehive production goes toward the maintenance of the chickens and the beehives. After that, uh, 22 hours is nothing but profit. Still just unloading the potatoes see in the flashing things, the canola is still in demand, but we have no canola left, we completely emptied that stock, um, and the other thing in demand is uh, barley, which we have absolutely none of, uh, I planted a couple fields, said barley's for 24 hours, whether we get any anything grown and harvested in time to sell off. I have no idea. Wish wish I knew, but I don't. I'm gonna come over here, show you the chicken coop. How disappointed it is. Look at all the eggs. But yeah, there's not two hundred chickens in here. Like I was hoping whole bunch of eggs though, wow. Oh, I didn't. If I did my math right, uh, eggs go for a little over $11. So, 20 of them, 20 eggs, breaks us even on the maintenance of these, which helps out with the beehives. first hour is covered by two or three beehives, and uh, the eggs cover the chicken coop. I'll probably just keep walking around here and find eggs. I'm just going to keep laying them, it's ridiculous. Oh, there's another egg. Rooster crowing. Until maybe I get that $479,000 potato harvester that cuts the tops and harvests the whole, the whole wide length of the 
where it's cutting tops at. It's just uh, it's collecting essentially two rows at a time. It's just monotonous. Anyway, today I kind of want to think about maybe getting into some sheep. They're only $300. Feeding machine's not all that expensive, so you should be able to get a handful of them at least. Start getting all that. Start getting wool collected up. I don't know how long it's going to take, how fast that goes. But I'm going to continue collecting or harvesting potatoes bring you guys back in a little bit. Maybe when I'm done doing all this. I don't know. We did it! We finally harvested all the potatoes! Well, almost. Got one line left to go. Honestly, feel like I have been doing this for a week in real life. Ridiculous. But got the potatoes done. Have to get this cultivated, reseeded with something else. I don't even know what to plant. But whatever it is, we'll end up stockpiling it anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Maybe canola. I did not go very straight on these. But oh well. Doesn't matter now. It's all over with. Dirty. Really? There we go. We've got a bunch of potatoes stocked up. last load down there, I'll have to see exactly how much we have. Oh, while well I'm thinking of it, we have a little bit of time. The beehives are making us about $180, or not making us about, they are making us $180 an hour. So, finally turning a profit per day. Pretty happy about that. here once we get that the potatoes unloaded. Get this guy uh, sort of cultivating. Still not sure what we're gonna get into though. I don't know if I really want to get into sheep yet or not. Sure, 
sure how you get feed or what you need to do. I don't know if you have to fail it. What you gotta do. I should do a little bit of research in that before I start. See, we got the big pile of potatoes over here. They win. Oh, gonna go in here and collect some eggs. I'll show you how many eggs we got, because that is that is quite ridiculous as well. Two hundred chickens weigh a lot of eggs. Yeah, I've been collecting these eggs in between trips. Build up so the harvester can continue doing its thing. Yeah, cultivators right there. Got to bring that the sower up here soon. Start getting that planted. I 
might have to get a bigger harvester for that field. That the little harvester that we have is not going to really cut it. It takes a lot just to do field 16. Tractors. I don't even know if there are faster tractors in this game. There should be. Whether there are or not, I'm not sure. I did set this up in case we wanted to do some bailing. I'm not sure though. Potatoes. Killer. An absolute killer. Dude, need a better one of these, too. Something that does a little bit more at one time. I can sell chickens. We go down by the biogas. Okay. Actually, probably be faster if I just go here. See this guy. Then run that tractor all the way up and then run in the back.
that's up. See how many we, how much money we get out of these eggs. I should get over a thousand. Should. Chunk of change. Pick this back up. I'm going to run down to where the sheep are at. Check that out. back in a little bit. Alright, so field five's done being harvested. Did, 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 did. Field six is getting harvested now. I had to empty out the harvester because I planted barley on field six. So we're gonna go empty this out. I think I'm going to check the mission board, start a couple missions, get some money in the bank. Baylor. Mail up some stuff. After that, start looking at the sheep. I don't want to get into it and not be able to do anything and then waste the money and they just sit there not producing anything. I feel like that's, that's a waste of our, our money right now. Do the deep. We're gonna do these missions. Get to pick up some money, and then probably next time we'll, uh, we'll look at getting into the, the sheep. But that's gonna do it for today. Um, yeah, my brain's not working. Still trying to get over a head cold. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.